Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe button. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Here we have another crazy story, another crazy story. J Prince Jr., J Prince Jr. He's a man out here, as you can see. He's living a good life, as you can see. He's been living a lot. I mean, living a good life for a very long time, as you can see. But some individual, for some strange reason, say, you know what? He's not really from the streets. He's not really from the streets. Think about that. Think about that. Imagine that. Imagine someone glorifying being from the streets. Basically, being from the streets, that means you're down and out. You know, you have to beg somebody for a dollar sometimes, you know. Sometimes you go to sleep, you know, with no food. You know, you probably got to, you know, sell, you know, probably... You know, things you don't want to sell to survive. You probably even have to do things you don't want to do to survive. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. But you have some individuals say, J. Prince Jr., he's not from the streets. And they will say that like it's a good thing to be from the streets. Think about that. When did poverty and going out of your way to commit crimes become a good thing? and became the standard, the standard of being, um, um well, of, of, of being from the streets, of being from the streets. I mean, the streets is, I mean, what is the streets? I thought the streets are just a place where you, you know, you, you 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 do a lot of unnecessary things, you know, just to go behind the bars, and you, and, you, and you start crying once you get behind the bars, and then you want to come back out in free society. There's a lot of individuals who say, you know what? He was raised with a silver spoon, like that's a bad thing. Think about it. Think about it. And a lot of these individuals, believe it or not, believe it or not, they probably feel better off if the father didn't take care of the son. Think about that. Think about that. They probably feel better if this young man had to go out of his way to commit crimes to make a dollar. Think about that. Certain individuals, when they talk, you got to say, you know what? Wow. It's amazing the thing that's coming out of your mouth. So you'd rather me be down and out than to be well off. Think about it. Think about that. The mind of a person like that. You can't trust a person like that. Imagine if his father wasn't taking care of him, he was down and out. I'm quite certain a lot of individuals might say, you know what, man... Man, your father got all that money. He ain't even taking care of you, man. That's messed up. That's messed up. Think about it. Think about that. Could you win with certain individuals? Think about it. It's crazy. It's like that sometimes. I know some individuals who don't, who don't take care of their children. Don't take care of their kids. Their kids are down and out. Their kids are behind the bars right now. The kids are saying, where's daddy at? Where's my daddy at? Where's my daddy at? And I think that's the reason why some of these individuals say, you know what? This dude ain't gangster. He's not from the streets. You know? You know? It's his father why he's like that. Think about that. Crazy type of things that come out of certain individuals' mouths. Some individual will feel better if you're born down and out than to be born successful. Even though they want their kids to be well off. Well, some of them do. Some of them do. If they had the opportunity to do it. I heard an individual say, you know what? Um... As I said, as I said, Jay Prince Jr., he's the man. You know, congratulations to this man right here. 
You know, he's in reality, he's, you know, he's been passed the torch in a sense from what his father created back in 1988. I believe that's when he dropped his first, you know, album. And we're in what, 2024 right now. That's close to 40 years later. So the reason why this man is being spoken about is because of, um, of who he is, who his family is. You know, but I said some individuals say, you know what? Nah, he's not from the streets. I'd rather him be down and out. I'd rather him have to do this to survive. I'd rather him have to eat oodles and noodles. I'd rather him have to, you know, set up his friends. I'd rather him have to do all type of things to say he, he's really from the streets. He's really from the streets. Even though a lot of individuals say, you know what? They try to get out of the streets. They're trying to accumulate money to get out of the streets. And someone who actually did it, they're looking down on them. Unbelievable how the world is sometimes. But it's one of those things. You have to be an idiot if you listen to what anyone say to you. Think about that. Imagine living your life off of what the next individual feels or think about you. That'd be an unbelievable life to live. Cause they say no, no two, two, no two individuals think alike. But you know what? Mythical, mythical characters is what these individuals want to live life, live like. They want to start respecting fully, really, honestly. When you do about 35, 45 years in jail, when you just really waste your life away. If you're not on the time where you want to waste your whole life away, they don't think you're from the streets. That's basically what it comes down to, being from the streets. If you don't make up your mind, say, you know what, I'm ready to do 100 years behind the bars, then you're really not from the streets, unfortunately. It's a crazy life, it's a crazy world, but that's how a lot of these individuals view being from the streets is like. If you're not a crash dummy, you're not from the streets. You're a good boy. Because I know, I know, I know for certain why I say J. Prince Jr. is a man because the more money you have access to is the more you could do. The more a lot of things you could do. Not just one or two things, 10 things at the same time. So how J. Prince Jr. is not the man if he has access to the resources that a lot of individuals are trying to get. Think about that, think about that. A lot of individuals, I tell you, if you listen to an individual, you might as well go ahead and listen to it on um, a cat. Meow, meow. What are they saying? What are they saying? You have no idea. You have no idea. But are they um, helping you out in any way, shape, or form? Or are they criticizing? They're criticizing. Say, for example, J. Prince Jr. was down now, down now. Down now, down now. And these same individuals saying, you know what? He grew up with a silver spoon. Say, for example, he's saying, you know what? Let me, um, let me borrow $1,000. I just want to borrow it. I borrow it. I just want to borrow it. I'll pay you back. I'll pay you back. They say, when you pay you back, I said, I'll pay. Um, he said, I'll pay you back um, in three months. In three months. In three months. They say, three months? Three months? Three months? Man. All right. I mean, maybe some will say, yeah. But maybe a lot would say no. So I ain't a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Let you borrow a thousand dollars. You know who your father is? See what I'm saying? So everything gets all crazy. Everything gets all crazy when you listen to people. I'm just talking about that's it. You know? For example, how do they know J. Prince Jr. never committed crimes? And I said a lot of these individuals, they want you to commit crimes and they want you to talk about it. They want you to talk about it to the world. Or even your friends and they want to have the luxury of having something on you so you know what he did this he did that he did this he did that think about it think about that imagine imagine jay prince jr do crimes but he just doesn't talk about it think about it keep to himself keep keep his crime to himself like he's supposed to he ain't from the streets he ain't doing nothing you know i didn't I, you know, you know, you know, unbelievable type of thing that people say I'm just talking, that's it. I said a lot of individuals, 
you know they want the best for their kids but an individual who provided best for their children they say he's not from the streets I mean like I say for listening individuals I mean what is the streets I said something you walk on people die in the streets unfortunately the next time I service TV, tell a friend, tell a friend, see him do a 